The center of Moscow is encircled by the Garden Ring Road, which is regarded as the divide between Moscow City and the suburb districts. The Brown Metro Line follows the same route. The Moscow River runs through the south part of the city. However, unlike other major European countries, it does not mark a divide between standards of living. Properties on both sides of the river remain of the similar style and standard. As Moscow is an enormous, sprawling capital, expats tend to reside in locations close to their workplace or, alternatively, the international schools, depending on their needs. Apartment living is the primary choice for expats in Moscow, in the inner city and in the suburbs. Expat suitable houses are more rare and tend to be situated outside of the geographical boundaries of Moscow, making for a long commute to the workplace. Within the Garden Ring, there are a number of residential areas which are popular with the expat community such as Tverskaya, Patriarchy Prudy, Novi Arbat, Ostozhenke, and Kristi Prudy. Those living inside the Garden Ring are able to walk from their door to a variety of attractions, including restaurants, bars, shopping areas, fitness centers, and entertainment. There are several types of apartment buildings in the center. Most of them were built prior to communism and are regarded as classic style apartments. There are also the infamous Stalin style properties with high ceilings, large windows, and solid walls. The newest type of apartment developments follow Western trends and are considered VIP. They feature 24-hour security and underground parking, a luxury in Moscow. These new apartments are startlingly expensive. Although many of the older apartment blocks appear not to be well-maintained, oftentimes the exterior of a building is no reflection of the apartments within the property. It is common to find a beautifully finished home hiding in an unlikely building. It was just very interesting to me that uh, to see another apartment on my floor where the owner of that apartment, I mean, he renovated the apartment inside beautifully, which, which is normal, as my landlord had done. But it was what he did in the corridor that was particularly interesting and surprising because he, he put a new modern door on, on the apartment, which is fine but he actually renovated the exterior wall in the corridor about one meter to each side of his door, enhancing the appearance of his space in the common space. The Southwest districts are close to the international schools and are popular with expat families. There are also residential compounds located nearby where expat families often prefer to live. This area of the city is also considered to be the safest, greenest, and cleanest part of Moscow. There are also three residential communities which are quite popular among the expats. Pokrovsky Hill compound has direct links to the Anglo-American school, while the Rosinka compound is connected to the British International School. Serebrenivor is the third enclosed community. Due to their increasing popularity, waiting lists are standard in these three compounds. The community I live in here, it's a townhouse, and it's guarded. There's a gate all around, and there's a guard, which is very different than in the United States. You would never have a guard. Um, and again, it's different because we happen to be surrounded by expats, all different expats and from all different countries. So that's, you've never experienced that in America. I mean, we're very lucky because we live in a compound, a compound with about 30 houses. So I always tell people that um, it's the best part of Moscow. And it's not... I mean, it's a unique situation, and you don't find it very often, but they live in a compound with 30 houses, so they run around outside all day, and uh, they certainly couldn't do that in a, in a neighborhood in Vancouver. They certainly couldn't do that in a neighborhood in London where we lived before we moved here, so um, they have a fantastic time. They're, they're young enough that they can run around with their friends. They have the whole run of the compound, and uh, it's great for them. While searching for a property, keep in mind that it's difficult to find a home with a fixed parking spot, and most people have to try their luck with parking on the road. Although there are a lot of suitable properties in Moscow, they come at a price. Moscow is one of the most expensive cities in the world. It is wise to start your adventure with an open mind to learning about the challenges and benefits of Moscow's housing market. We look forward to the opportunity to introduce you to the city and to find the property that meets your needs.